Good morning, everyone. February 2nd. <laughs> I think today is today Groundhog's Day. I don't know. Um, I hope you're all well. Boy, you guys jumped on here right away. That's great. I watched the numbers to decide when I'm going to start teaching and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to be a little bit of a show off today, meaning I'm going to show you a couple acquisitions only to make you green with envy, but I'll wait a minute for that. Uh, I want to show you this. This is like so hilarious. I got this from a Judy, I don't know, a week or so ago. <laughs> Just Yep. I remember Joe Cunningham had something like that. We have a thing called Meet the Teachers. And Joe Cunningham said something like, she held up a, a Meet the Teachers is a thing in Northern California where uh, they meet four times a year. And each guild has a rep. And then once a year, they have, bring in people. Um, and you've got three minutes to sell your story, you know, for guilds to hire you and stuff like that. And Joe Cunningham held up a cardboard thing that was similar to that, like, we'll quilt for money or feed me or something. It was exceedingly clever, as he is. Um, one of my faves, faves, faves. Okay, so, yay, we're all getting here. Um, today, we're going to do hearts. Super easy ridiculous easy let's take a look here where my oh here this platform thing goes i think we got some more lap apps in by the way if you've been waiting for those things i i love it so today we're gonna do a heart we're gonna do a bud and then kind of a continuous a continuous bud and i found these in the book that we are all enjoying together okay so it's in here and in the meantime i bought two more books mm -hmm. and one was suggested on uh, by you guys but i'd already seen it in fact i think i told you on monday i ordered it but uh this is uh sharon boggins aunt boggin boggin and it is by CNT Publishing. Uh, if you'd like, I will let me let's look at a couple pages on the inside. I mean, I literally just started looking at this this morning, and that's why all of a sudden I look up. I go, "Oh my gosh, it's ten o'clock!" But I f I am very ex yeah very excited about this and the and the different things you can do. And you guys are doing different things. I like, I, and I think even though I'm a left-hander, you know, I can look at this stitch and figure it out now. And if I couldn't, let's just say I couldn't, then I would go back to our textbook and or I have a, um, I have a left-handed book too that I use. But I think this is pretty darn nice. All right. And then... While I was at it, how to spend 50 bucks in your pajamas. You're looking at it right now, okay? Um, this is kind of off the beaten track a little bit. This is just more like, you know, free form embroidery. Um, not quite as structured as ours is, but look at this. I mean, holy smokes, right? Just, these are just beautiful. And with that, I'm trying to figure out what the heck I'm going to work on in Hawaii. Oh, now look at that. Isn't that interesting? It looks as if this is already quilted and then it's embroidered on top. Huh. And see, that one's not already quilted. Oh, and then look at this one. This caught my eye this morning where you've got some, oh, it's hard to see. Let me see if I can bring this in a little bit. Where you're working on antique laces and then doing a bunch of embroidery. And you, you can imagine that's right up my alley a little bit, having hung with Cindy Needham just all the time. Look at these. I mean, they're just beautiful. So if that isn't enough in preparing to go to Hawaii, I went to uh, Joanne's yesterday, and I have got 
I, oh shoot, I don't want to drop this needle. I've got so many threads, it's stupid, I think you could say, but I found this box. I've got to be consinct in this whole thing when we go there. Let me pull this up a little bit. Um, I found this box at uh, Joann's. I think it's called like Art Gallery or something like that, and it's on sale. I, I think I paid like 10 bucks for it or whatever. It comes with dividers, and then I went and I bought um, these little guys to spool it around. And so I think I mentioned the other day, I hate to take it out because once I take it out, it's a killer to get back in. But like this is Wonderfill. I've had, I have it marked and uh, the color. Look at this. This is, this is better than a box of chocolates. Just saying. So I've got Wonderfill. I've got um, what we're using, DMC. I've got, um, here this is. Uh, Valdani, and then over here, and that's Vol Valdani Cottons, and then this is Sue Spargo Wools, right in here, and then this is Valdani Silk. So I'm just saying, you could get yourself in big trouble with threads. We just got you started, and as far as the rest goes, man, I'm sorry. <laughs> but you could do serious damage, right? Some of you already know. Let's see. Maybe I could put some embroidery on my trees. Yes, I could. Um, okay. Okay, what is that lap thingy? And what was that embroidery book? Okay, Deborah, this is for you, girl. Um, the flower one is this. Foolproof flower embroidery. Jennifer Clouston. All right. And it's by... Um, also available as an ebook. Oh, this is also C and T. Okay, also C and T. And then this thing is called a lap app, and um, we actually I, we found out the history of it, and I love it. It's really for applique, but it's to bring stuff up into your face so you can work on it. I put a new cover on mine because I didn't like the cover it came with, with a little pocket to put my scissors in. And then, as someone pointed out, there's a uh, a uh, magnet to put your needle on like that would hold my thread that's like almost hysterical right so i was wondering if it was like a pop pop that's why i called my dad out in a garage making them well no they are made in the usa but they're sourced out by different uh people and then there's also a guild that's involved with them putting this together which i think is just fabulous i, I hope they're paying them but i think that's just Fabulous. U.S. of A. right here. All right. Okay, and then Peggy says it's also great for resting your arms while embroidering so you don't get uh, muscle back fatigue. Yeah. Let me see. So like right here, it's in my lap. And she, you're right. It's just like right here. Okay. Let's see what you guys sent in. I have to tell you that I always am afraid I'm not going to have something to show, but you don't let me down. And I'm all and and when I start putting this together, I always do it the morning of. So um, it just makes my heart super happy. So this is Carla's, and isn't it beautiful? She wanted to know how to quilt it. Carla, I don't know because I know there's ten thousand different options, but you need to just start looking around, I'm going to tell you right now in the neutral areas, and oh, you got a jump start on the next class, um, your quilting is going to show. And you take something like this, and I would not want to just do like a meandering quilting on it. In fact, it would almost make me ill if I saw somebody do that. So take your time with figuring it out, live with it. Hey, Barb. But the other thing is that she was considering two colors thread to do the quilting in and was it do I do this one or do I do this one and what I learned from Diane Schweiker who does um, a lot of my machine quilting is that she will literally take thread undo it and then puddle it on top of it and so here's your quilt top and then you puddle it over the different areas and then that will tell you what you want and I, I think you were looking at a sagey green on a cream if I recall I whatever but that's how you're gonna figure out what the heck to quilt it in Carla okay and then this is Jeannie's 
and it's a close up. And I think Jeannie, oh, we might have looked at this. What is today? Wednesday, Monday. <laughs> we might have looked at this. Um, and I just, every time you go to that forum, people put your stuff up and share because it's how we learn. And I think that was the one, Jeannie, where the, the, the full shot just was not a high enough res. Sometimes you put things up and I go, oh, I can't show it because it's just too blurry when I have to expand it to this. Okay. And then Becky, Becky went bug crazy. <laughs> that makes me happy. That just makes me so happy. Oh, Becky, Becky, Becky. Look at that. Man, I, I got to tell you, I, I showed you that Indian book the other day, and I love the bright colors in it and all that, but I am so drawn to, like, Mexican textiles, Indian textiles, and these bright colors are just like so indicative of that, of just complete happiness. Oh, um, yes, the lap app comes, John just says, is there a pattern for the lap app cover? It comes with it. I'm pretty darn sure, yeah. Um, yeah, it comes with it. So, and I believe we're throwing in a little fat quarter too of our stuff, and if we aren't, I just got ourselves in big trouble. <laughs> All right, uh, let's take a look at Lori's. Oh, Lori, I, this is the first one in blue. And you know what? When that popped up, I could physically, I felt, I felt something physically inside me and it was, um, and it was an emotion and it was, I think what blue it brings to the table. Um, this just really hit me. And I got to tell you the other funny thing, guys, you know that I love red, and all of a sudden I'm like going, okay, is my favorite color going to switch to blue? This color, this top emotionally hit me. And I thought that was kind of interesting. And that's really the only way I can describe it. And then here's Lori's close up. And she's just getting started. But I think you're on the right track. Would you not all agree? And then here's Jane's. Wow, that's not on silk. Well, wow, that's about as cute as it gets. And let's just take a look at those bumblebees. And I would, <laughs> I said to John after Mondays, is that bumblebee stinger on their butt or what? <laughs> he goes, yeah, it's on their butt. So the one we did on, um, <laughs> let's take a look at it. It's just so stupid <laughs> Com compared <laughs> to yours, Jane. So let's just take a look. I mean, wait, hold on. I got to get rid of that picture. <laughs> I mean, look how stupid that is. Jane, you nailed it. I, what is this? And then Robin called me up and said, actually, it looks like a bunch of mosquitoes. <laughs> so it's art. <laughs> it's just art. <laughs> okay, LK, what you got here for us? Look at that. Look at that. I don't know why, if you go to the upper left, I don't know why I haven't done any sort of starburst like that in the center. I don't know why. And then and then on that same one, if you go to the outside ring, it's kind of like a reverse blanket stitch with French knots on the end. And I think that there is actually a stitch like that. And if I couldn't master it, that's what I would do, is I would just do blanket stitch with a French knot at the end. And I've got to learn that colonial knot. I know I do. Okay, then Kathy is new to silk. Well, welcome to the club, Kathy. And in neutrals, I believe she said too. And in a sense, this is a precursor of the swimming pool we're going to jump into next. By the way, yesterday, I mean, I know we're sending you, I mean, you can purchase a kit from us with 20 different pieces in it, hopefully, give or take. Um, I, I mean, I believe it all when we get it in the store. But I went out yesterday and even spent more money <laughs> neutrals. I can't stand it. It's almost like thread. Okay. And then we have Trish. Okay. Now she's done. She says, that's it. And look how she's machine quilted it around. But then now, whoa, whoa, whoa. Take a look at this. Beading. Yep. We haven't even gotten to beading yet. And I think for me, 
if I were to beat it, and I'd be interested on how Trish did that, I would be inclined to do it after the fact. So, um, but Lori said she's spending more money on threads today. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, this is ridiculous. <laughs> it's just, oh. okay. So let's get busy with today. All right. And I've got to get the camera down here and get it positioned properly. Close your eyes so you don't get seasick. Um, the heart is super, super straightforward as this one. This one was a little bit of a trickery. So in your book, it's on, pay, on, on this book. It's on page... 65, 64 and 65. Okay, so I can do the heart without looking at it. It's the last one I can't. So the heart, Valentine's Day. Oh my gosh, look at the string. It's way too long. So John and I, oh, something weird happened here. John and I will be celebrating our 46th anniversary in Hawaii with our friends and I love boats so much that we are going to rent a big sailboat and celebrate in Maui. Doesn't that sound like fun? Okay, so here's my little harp. The first thing you do is you do a um, <laughs> the stitch. <laughs> you do a lazy daisy. Okay, I've come up with the knot. I'm, am I in frame? Yes. Okay, so I'm doing that center thing right there. All right. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in down here and just let this thread hang. Yeah, it's not a bad way to celebrate at all. When I came up with it, I was pretty proud of myself. Although I have to get our reservations, I think, today. Oh, gosh, that's so cute. I think I'm going to have to put this on mine. I really like this heart. Here we go. Speaking of anniversaries, I'm torn between too many lovers here today. I want to work on neutrals. I want to work on my silk. I want to work on Joanne Sharp's class. Oh, I did something wrong. Yes, yeah, like wasn't paying attention. Okay, sorry guys, I screwed up. But you never do that, do you? Oh, also, I got an email from somebody saying, your back is supposed to look as good as your front. You're exactly right. And um, I learned that if you're in competition with embroidery, it has to be as beautiful on the back um, that's not what we're doing here, but understand that if you, if you really get into this, you've got to get into the whole, the whole thing of making the back as pretty as the front. I'll tell you right now that isn't. Okay, so now I'm going to come up here. I see what I did wrong. Okay. And then this is going to come in back down here, and I'm going to make my little heart bump up there. Oh my God, that's so cute. Isn't that cute? I could see that around a whole thing. Yeah, okay. So now, let's take a look at this one. Super easy also. That's as good as I can get it. All right, so we're going to start with a lazy daisy. That's what we're going to do. And then, that's oh, kind of big. Oh, well. Like that. And then that's it right there. And if, let's say, you're doing red work or something like that and you want to be able to travel all over 
on the silk it's okay because we've got the lining on it. That's why sometimes people put batting or some sort of thing like the fabric prep or whatever on the back here so you can travel around and not have it um, show through because it will show through if you're on cotton. That is for sure. Okay, so then this is super easy. I mean, essentially, this is a fly stitch we're going to do now for this. Okay, I'm going to come up like this. I'm going to come over here. Yeah. And then I'm going to come down. That's okay. I like my original one better. Probably because I got too big on here. All right. I'm going to get this out of the way. And now we're going to do this. And this one is also on page 65. So let me go back to the pink. All right. And I'm going to do a stack of French knots. Or, I'm sorry, I mean um, chain stitch. Lazy Daisy. I'll get it right. Lazy Daisy. So, well, I'm going to do just one, but then you can see if you turn the page in the book, how you can stack them. So let's do one. I don't know. I'll do more. What the heck. I don't even know how John and I got on this this morning, but at my last supper, if I get a last supper, I came to, it's going to be a good glass of Chardonnay and a charcuterie tray. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Okay, I'll do one more. Whoops, that's wrong. Go down here. And then this comes up here. Okay, let me finish it off. I'm just going to go through, do a little knot. Careful how I snip it, right? And then, actually, I'll do a little knot here. So I can bring it over. All right. <clears throat> so in the book, this is what we're doing. Okay. But if you turn the page, here it is stacked, what I'm going to show you now. And this is the other thing we just did stacked. So I like that. This one took me a minute to get. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up over here. I don't know what I think about this stitch, to be honest about it. And then I'm going to come around here, and my needle is going to go through underneath this, like that, okay? Under the base on top of the thread. You get this crazy little knot. So let's do that again. And it's one-sided. I don't think there's any reason you couldn't do it on both sides, honestly. This is called Bud with Knotted, knotted Calyx, C-A-L-Y-X stitch. So I come down through here underneath and on top of the green and then go down. Okay, this is interesting because I didn't like it like this one, but I like it like this and I think perhaps I went too small. That might be the issue. One more time. 
And if you want, guys, I can, while I'm doing this, I can take questions if you'd so like that. Um, no, wait. Underneath. Ah, get down there. Crazy little guy. Oh, that is really cute. I mean, that is really cute. Okay, I'm torn between all these lovers. What am I going to do today? I don't want to. Maybe I set the timer and I do X, Y, Z, and then I do um, the other X, Y, Z. So the book I'm referring to, Cheryl, is this one. Okay? It's a, it's a goodie. It's by C&T also. It's a goodie. It um, has both left and right-handed in it. It takes you with an initial stitch, and then, so like for instance, here I'm in Lazy Daisies. Here, let me put this on. So here I am with Lazy Daisies. It shows you left and right handed. And then it takes that stitch and has you do more, 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 more with the Lazy Daisy. It's here, here. So once you learn the first stitch, then you can go and add these other stitch to the whole thing. So we do have it in the store, I'm pretty darn sure. Um, I have the same situation. I don't know what to do today, Rose. I have so many choices. Ah, I know. I know. I got to get this beige thing, this neutral quilt done. It's, and finally, if it isn't a case of a quilt having its own mind and giving me trouble, a teenager, yeah, I whipped it. I got it into shape. And so I will work on that some today. What was it next door uh, many years ago when we moved in? Adair was a firecracker. <laughs> Imagine that. And um, she, <clears throat> the grandma next door, we called him grandpa and grandma. Grandma says, you've got something there. And when you meet the challenge, you've got something there. And <laughs> that's how I feel about this quilt. <laughs> I got something there, but I got to meet the challenge. <clears throat> okay. Um, will you be showing us anything from Hawaii? We had six inches of snow in Kansas City this AM. I don't blame you if you say no. No. <laughs> no. I might do a pop-in or whatever, but I've got to be more fluid than that. Um, I don't want to, I can't guarantee the internet. I uh, I, I don't want to necessarily have to get up and coif my hair. Now, um, Alex is getting two weeks off. I'm sorry. But in the meantime, um, we have reruns. <laughs> so, okay, this Friday, Barbara is here to continue to coach us through our TQS 2022 BOM Down Under Quilt by Irene Blank. So she'll be here Friday. And then Saturday, Dee will be here spinning some magic. And see, Dee will be here on Saturdays when I'm gone. Oh, yeah. And we've got the kit for Dee's class. I picked it up yesterday. I'll make you wait till Monday to see it. It's beautiful. Her class is going to be on color and how to get successful color combinations together and end up with a quilt. And then mine is neutral essentials. They cover a lot of the same thing, but I'm going to say... Mine, for me, when I started making neutral quilts, it really helped me understand light, medium, dark, and character of print. John is coming in. Do you have something to say, buddy? Oh, yeah. International Quilting Weekend is coming up mid-March. Um, Ricky's going to do a... Uh, we're, I'm going to do a live on Saturday. Ricky's going to do a live on Sunday, kind of like a sew along, a quilt along. And I am praying that I can start the neutrals quilt then. I mean, we all just get down to getting everything in the store, blah, blah, blah. Um, Ricky's going to do something like, and I'm making it up, but the concept is there like his, you know, top tips that he uses all the time. So um, we want to play with you. We've got prizes that we're going to be giving away. A Bernina 570 Kiwi, you know that for fact? 
someone's going to win that. Um, we've got AccuQuilt involved. We have R&K involved. We're reaching out to a bunch of different vendors. And um, yeah, I, it's going to be a lot of fun. So here we go. I finally bought the book. Becky says she didn't think she needed it, but it's totally worth it. I'm telling you, you can't have enough of these books. Um, Restream. Boo, 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 boo. There we go. Okay, here it, <laughs> Jennifer, I need more threads. It's bad. I can't believe I went and spent another hundred bucks on neutral fabrics, okay? I can't believe it, but I did it. Hey, we got to keep our industry strong and healthy. Okay, I will be back on uh, next week before we take off, okay? But tomorrow, um, let's hear it for Barbara Black. Yeah. And uh, um, Linda goes, I want the Bernina. I hear you. And remember, if you're thinking about getting one, I can send you a coupon before you purchase it, and you'll get 100 bucks off directly from Bernina USA. All right? I will take those cards to Hawaii <laughs> in case you say you need one now. All right? <laughs> it might be better if you ask for it before. The sale has to be over $1,000. Um, okay. Is it international? Oh, yeah. Noella, it's international. It's all over the world. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you're going to want to play. All right. Um, I want it. We call it International Quilt Weekend. And I don't remember. I mean, it's it's something that's been going on forever. For, for a while, it was just national. And then John said, well, that's ridiculous. It's international because there's quilters everywhere. Okay. I am blathering on too much. Uh, I'll see you next Monday. Barbara, I know you're going to do a great job on Friday, as well as you, D, on Saturday. Okay. I think we're good. <laughs>